Hey guys, this is Shane. I'm back with another video to share my full review of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE. This tablet is on sale at the time of this video. I'll have some links in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. The retail price is $450. However, to address the title of this video of me calling this an affordable feature packed tablet, I'm calling it that because it's offering a lot of advantages over Samsung's budget Tab A series. And there are already some really good prices on this Tab S9 FE for just $320 at the time of this video if you download the shop Samsung app and then look up the product on the app and then you can get this price. We also have two different sizes. We have the Tab S9 FE, this tablet here, the smaller one, and then there's also a Tab S9 FE Plus. This tablet comes in four different colors. We have silver, mint, lavender, and this gray color that we're gonna be checking out here today. So let's see what you get in the box for $320. Now, I've been using this tablet for about a month now here, but just wanted to put it back in the box for show, see what you get. So on the top, we have our tablet. Inside the box, we get an S Pen, which this is already a huge addition over that Galaxy Tab A8. Love that we have S Pen functionality with this tablet. We also get a USB Type-C to Type-C charging cable, a SIM injection tool, which I've already managed to lose, and a little bit of paperwork. But with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and check out the Galaxy Tab S9 FE. Now, if you're familiar at all with Samsung tablets, have a very sturdy and solid feel. So we have an aluminum finish here on the sides and backing, taking a physical tour here here. On the right side, we have a physical fingerprint sensor. So this is how you get into the tablet with that fingerprint sensor on the side. Next to that, we have our volume rockers and two mics. On the bottom, we have one of our two speakers. We have our Type-C port capable of 45 watts super fast charging, which for a tablet with a big battery is another huge advantage I'm super happy with on this guy. We also have our connectors on the bottom for Samsung's official accessories that were originally just for the Galaxy Tab S9. On the top left and top right, that's where your speakers are located. We have one more mic. And last but not least, we have our micro SD card slot you can add up to one terabyte of additional storage. Getting a feel of the weight of this Tab S9 FE, it's coming in at around 526 grams. It'll take off nine grams or so if you take the S Pen off. But if you compare this to the Galaxy Tab S9, the premium tablet, this is coming in at 513 grams. So it's slightly lighter. So the Tab S9 FE on the top here has 6.5 millimeters of thickness. And then the Tab S9 on the bottom here is 5.9 millimeters of thickness. So just a little bit more of a slim, trim, premium feel on this Tab S9, but it still has a great solid aluminum feel. On the back here, we also have another mic, our single lens camera setup, and sorry for the fingerprints, but we also have a front-facing landscape-oriented camera here, great for video calls and conferences. But now taking a look at the display here, we have a 90 Hertz 1440p IPS LCD display. So it is nice that, again, we have a little step up from the 60 Hertz that we've been having on these more affordable tablets. So it is overall a pretty nice upgrade as far as the smoothness of the display when navigating through the tablet. And I especially noticed this when playing games that the 90 Hertz refresh rate is really nice and smooth on this tablet. Of course, it's not as crisp as the 120 Hertz on that premium Tab S9 I just showed a little ago, but it is a very nice step up from the 60 Hertz refresh rate. As far as the screen size, this is a 10 0.9 inch tablet. So it is ever so slightly smaller than the 11 inch screen size on the Tab S9 on the left here, but in person it's not all that much noticeable. And on a smaller tablet like this where it's going to be in your hands a lot of the time anyway, it's nice to have a little bit of bezel to actually rest your fingers on so you're not accidentally pressing the screen or anything. But a couple of the bigger differences that you're not going to get on this FE tablet compared to the flagship tablet is you're not going to get the AMOLED display that this Tab S9 has. And this also has a higher resolution of 2560 by 1600. So it has a little bit more of a crisp image on this Tab S9. And then this Tab S9 also has the latest and greatest flagship Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor, which gives you great battery efficiency. Whereas on this Tab S9 FE, we have the same processor that's packed inside the Galaxy A54, the Exynos 1380 processor. So this is more of a mid-range processor. And this is definitely a noticeable thing. So if you're gonna be opening up different multitasking apps or things like that, it's just gonna take a little extra split second for things to open up. If I do that same exact thing on my Tab S9, I don't have this previously opened or anything. You can see it just opened up a split second faster. And for whatever it's worth, my A54 that I've been using with the same processor for most of this year, 
everything I've thrown at it, it can handle it fine. It just might take a little bit slower to load, or if I'm playing a game, I might need to slightly lower the resolution. But overall, an average everyday use, it's still a great performing device, and it's not the reason I would hold back on getting a tablet like this. And what's actually even better on this Tab S9 FE is that we have support for Samsung DeX, Samsung's desktop experience. I am so glad to see Samsung DeX on a device at this price. Of course, again, it might take a little extra split second for Windows to resize and to just multitask in general. I seriously cannot remember the last time Samsung has included Samsung DeX on a device this affordable, which I don't get why they always kind of restrict this to their higher end devices. I know this was available on the previous Tab S7 FE, but that was a larger tablet. It was in a higher price bracket. But alongside those price savings, we of course have a bit more of a crammed experience on Samsung DeX on this smaller size tablet. It is great for the handheld use, which you can use Samsung DeX in a handheld use. You don't necessarily have to have it propped up on the table like a laptop, but this tablet also works perfectly fine in the conventional tablet mode. You can see you can jump into pretty much anything here pretty quickly. So let's just open up a couple applications just to show you how long it takes for things to load up and boot up and get into whatever it is you're doing. So again, you don't really have to wait all that long here. Obviously your stock apps are gonna open very quickly. Jumping into your calculator, if you wanna go to your calendar app, everything's gonna open up really quickly. We have Wi-Fi 6 built into this tablet. It's not Wi-Fi 6E, just keep that in mind. And it has Bluetooth 5.3 connectivity, so you can pair it up with the new Galaxy Buds FE. I'm sure these will be on some sort of discount too if you're going to get this tablet on Samsung's website. As far as watching content and things, here's a closer look at the 10.9 inch display. This is plenty large enough for, again, for great for handheld use, just holding this in your lap or on the couch or whatever. We have 720 nits of brightness on this tablet which just in my average day-to-day -day use, I never had an issue with lacking screen brightness. It gets plenty bright. Taking a closer look at gaming on this Tab S9 FE, again, this is great for handheld use, so I've been playing a fair amount of Stardew Valley on this tablet. Very comfortable to hold in the hand. Again, we have good enough performance here, runs perfectly fine at 60 hertz. And some games like old school RuneScape can take advantage of the screen's 90 hertz refresh rate. And I found again, performance to be fine. And it is really nice to have a bit of a smoother screen over the 60 hertz. It really does enhance just the overall gaming experience. So for average day-to-day -day gaming, this is gonna be perfectly fine. Now, as far as the S Pen on the back, this is not a Bluetooth S Pen like we have on the flagship Tab S9. It's just gonna work with the display. You're not gonna have any sort of those Bluetooth gestures, but you still have the great Samsung S Pen experience here. The response time seems to be perfectly fine. This is a nice smooth writing experience, maybe again thanks to that 90 hertz refresh rate. The pen tip has a nice soft feeling on the display, so writing on this is super comfortable. And of course we have the button on here on the side, so we can use the features like holding down and erasing. And of course, if you're familiar with any other Samsung devices, you can also have your features like making things into shapes. So see that was a very terribly written star and it just made it into a perfect shape. Trying to make a square here with my shaky hand. Now we got a square there. If you're trying to draw straight lines or anything, you can see it'll just straighten it out perfectly fine for you. And then of course, compared to the bigger Samsung tablets, this has a nice feel in the hand. You can hold this comfortably with one hand right on it with the other. Of course, you can just lay this down on the table and it has a very nice flat feeling. You don't have some sort of big camera module making it wobble or anything. You can see that you can just draw and write and navigate and do whatever it is you need to do. The tablet's gonna stay solid on the table. And if you're in the middle of using it and not using it and you don't wanna try to find the spot on the back to hit with the magnet, you can also just put it onto the side here and it has a very strong connection on the back. It clips in really nicely. This is a stronger connection on this year of Samsung's tablets compared to previous generations where it would flop off so easily. Like if I did that on a previous generation, it would just fall off. Now, of course, none of this matters if we don't have good battery life. So how's the battery life been for me on this Tab S9 FE? Well, battery's been fine, I would say. I'm getting a standard, you know, about seven hours of screen on time, which this is the same amount of battery life that I would get on my budget tab A8. And this was after just a full day of my average regular use. So a few hours of YouTube, an hour of light gaming, playing Stardew Valley, 37 minutes of using Google Chrome on my Bible app for a while, writing some things down and preparing for this video in Samsung Notes, doing some shopping on Amazon, checking out my emails, playing around with the camera and just testing out the tablet in preparation for this video. I think with all the things going on with this tablet and considering it is a mid-range processor, so not super battery efficient necessarily, 
or anything. I'm pretty happy with the seven hours of screen time that this tablet gets. So don't expect phenomenal battery life out of this tablet, but it is gonna get you through the day, which is the most important thing. Now, what's especially an important, and again, very exciting at this price point from Samsung is the 45 watt super fast charging 2.0. Historically, these smaller, more affordably priced Samsung tablets usually have pretty poor charging speeds, taking up to two and a half, three, even four hours sometimes. You did a little charging test, charges up very quickly, and, and in about an hour and a half, you're gonna have this tablet fully charged. As far as the speakers go on this tablet, again, if you're familiar with any Samsung tablet, they have very loud speakers. Very loud speakers louder than you even need it to be. At the bottom, it's so nice to be able to just quickly switch between various applications. Obviously, we have all of our multitasking features. Of course, we can just pop out a screen if we wanna do that. We have all of our various options of different sizes and expansions and things, or just minimizing putting something in the corner. Have great multitasking here. Again, the Exynos 1380 processor. I mean, that is, that's fine. That is perfectly fine for average day-to-day -day use. You can also, of course, just resize your windows and things. Just again, a split second of waiting, but it's just in average everyday use, it's perfectly fine. It may not be blazing fast like the $800 version, but there's a lot of versatility here. You can, of course, have a bunch of windows open if you want to. You can switch them all over the place. Again, just split second of waiting, not that big of a deal. You can also then go ahead and save a preset so you don't have to go and drag and open three applications at once, add it to the taskbar, for example. This is a fine performing tablet, even though it might not have the latest and greatest processor. Taking a quick look at the cameras, again, we just have the single lens set up on the back here. This is fine for just taking pictures around the house, nothing spectacular, and it can film in 1080p 30, nothing special here. This is the front-facing camera of the Tab S9 FE. This films in 4K 30 resolution, so it's nice to see that we don't seem to be losing any video quality here on this more affordable tablet. We have a great wide angle lens here. So really happy with the front facing camera. Also, like I mentioned earlier, we have the official Samsung connector pins on the bottom of this tablet. So for example, we can take Samsung's official keyboard cover that was made for the Tab S9, can now work on the Tab S9 FE. So just clicks right into place, perfectly fine. And what I think is more important is that these back plate cover options also fit really nice on these tablets. So this magnetically attaches right on the back here course have the slot for the S Pen and also this year you can detach this portion here so that you can have access to your S Pen more openly if you wanted to if you didn't want to always have to open that flap but I love that when I don't need the keyboard I can just so easily detach this portion and just have the back plate on here because it provides a great stand mind you this fits on very securely it's not going to fall off or anything but this stands on the table so nicely. It's great for those video conference calls like I showed earlier. You just prop that right up. I was using this back cover when I did that segment. It's so nice to be able to adjust this. And even for writing and sketching, it's very solid. So this will hold its position. You don't have to worry about the case falling over itself or anything. You can see I can press really hard here. Nothing's really happening to the tablet. But the reason I'm showing this segment last in the video is because this keyboard case comes in at $200. It's two thirds of the price of the tablet itself. And I guess for whatever it's worth, you would have to pay this still if you got the premium Tab S9. So you'd have a super expensive tablet on top of the expensive keyboard case. So at least you do eat some of the cost with a more affordable tablet. And you can arguably get so much more out of your tablet with this keyboard accessory. You have a great trackpad here, even though it is on the tinier side. This is a 10.0. 9 inch tablet but you have again the nice 90 hertz refresh rate for smooth animations you have a very nice feeling trackpad i know i've already shown this game and shown this example many times in previous videos but it is so nice that you can use this keyboard in some games so you can get a lot of functionality out of the keyboard cover even though it does cost a fair amount you can see i can zoom in and out here i can scroll around the map here, perfectly fine. I can click on the map if I need to, navigate through my different menus and things. Some of these little things do add up with the keyboard accessory. We have some nice little shortcuts like being able to jump right into Samsung decks at a moment's notice. Again, it does take just a split second longer to open up compared to other devices. And my applications that I had open on the tablet mode show up right here at the bottom on decks. So it's easy to just open up these different windows. And like I said before, this is just a little bit more crammed than I would personally like if I'm doing a lot of just real life productivity work on this. If it's just an average use case, it's gonna be perfectly fine. You can open up several different windows, 
You can put them wherever you want to. You can resize the windows to whatever size you want. So whether you're using the Samsung DeX or just in the standard conventional tablet mode, definitely gets the job done. But after a month or so of usage and all the factors and considerations made in this video, I'm very impressed with this Tab S9 FE for the price, for all the features that it's offering. I mean, Samsung DeX, a higher refresh rate screen, the S Pen, which historically you would usually have a $100 upcharge on a device just for the S Pen alone, but we're getting so many upgrades over the A series tablet. We have a higher end chipset than what's put in those A series tablets. We have a very similar design to the Tab S9 overall, as far as weight and physical form factor and battery and things. Of course, we have a more efficient processor on the Tab S9. Everything's just a little more premium and snappy and cleaned up on this Tab S9, but it has a retail price of $800. It might be discounted during the holidays for maybe $600 or so on Samsung Shop app. Again, I'll have that down in the description, but for the current $320 price tag, I'm super impressed with this tablet. It had the super fast charging, just a lot of nice quality of life features, but I'll be curious to hear your thoughts on the Galaxy Tab S9 FE down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the Shane Simons YouTube channel today. Since like I mentioned earlier, we're gonna be having a review coming out on the Galaxy Buds FE. So have a review up of the Galaxy S23 FE, Samsung's new FE edition smartphone. We also have the plus version of this tablet. Let me know if you'd like to see a video on that larger size tablet. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.